Melissa Vega at the live desk. Well, happening right now, it was a face-off. Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Colin Aldred wrapping up a statewide debate for the U.S. Senate seat. We're breaking it down here at the live desk. And one of the questions, border security. Aldred calling out Cruz for voting against the border security bill. This is, not, this is a pattern for him. He's never there for us when we need him. When the lights went out in the energy capital of the world, he went to Cancun. On January 6, when a mob was storming the Capitol, he was hiding in a supply closet. And when the toughest border security bill in a generation came up in the United States Senate, he took it down. He's voted against the border wall not once, not twice, but three times. Every single time there's a serious measure in the House to secure the border, Colin Allred votes no. Now, Cruz wants to continue serving in his seat another six years, Aldred says. Well, it's time for change. Another question the two men were asked is where they stand on abortion. I agree with the United States Supreme Court that under our Constitution, the way we resolve questions like that, questions on which we have real and genuine disagreements, is at the ballot box, is voting. And that's why the state of the law now is that the legislature in Austin sets the laws in Texas. When I'm the United States Senate, We'll restore a woman's right to choose. We'll make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. And we'll make these stories of seeing these horrific experiences going on all over our state something of the past. And a lot of reaction to tonight's debate. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is saying that Allred never had a chance. And Ted Cruz is a great debater and drilled Aldred over and over on his liberal voting record. Meanwhile, the Texas Democratic Party is sending out a statement into our newsroom saying that Cruz, who repeatedly showed he only cares about himself, has been in Washington forever with nothing to show for it except his abortion ban and his infamous trip to Cancun. Most bipartisan Texan in Congress. I'm the exact opposite of Senator Cruz, who's the most extreme senator in the United States Senate. We're doing an awful lot right in the state of Texas. Colin Allred wants to change that. I want to keep Texas, senator, Texas. U.S. Congressman Colin Allred and U.S. Senator Ted Cruz faced off in the only debate to help voters decide who they want representing them in Washington for the next six years. Their race could also determine who has control of the U.S. Senate, Democrats or Republicans. Whether or not you watch the debate, we are here for you. This morning, we're breaking down the event and the key takeaways before we head to the ballot in a couple days for yeah. some of us. That's right. To help us, Dr. Brian Smith, political science professor at St. Edwards University, joins us now. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for waking up early for us, Brian. Both Cruz and Allred tried to paint the other as an extreme politician. Can you give us your thoughts on last night's debate? Yeah, I think, uh, for one, supporters of both candidates could actually find those talking points and issues that they agreed with. And both candidates didn't want the other to try to grab any of those undecided voters. Cr Cruz really appealed to his base made sure that anytime Allred tried to move to the center, he linked them with uh, Pelosi and Harris. And every time Allred spoke, he made sure to mention that Cruz was too extreme for Texas and America. Yeah, I watched last night at points. It was really intense. Brian, both candidates' voting records was brought up several times last night, but Senator Cruz took it a step further. Take a listen. We have a website. It's called allredfacts.com, allredfacts.com. Every time he gives an answer, just click on allredfacts.com and we'll show you the exact vote he cast. What do you make of this website Senator Cruz kept referring to the audience to? Well, he's trying to grab clicks. He's trying to mobilize his base. And he's also trying to run against the ads that Allred is running. One of the disadvantages of being an experienced politician, this is true for both Cruz and Allred, is you have a long string of votes in Congress and that's a permanent record. Brian, a lot of people didn't know who Allred was until this year. Cruz has held this position for 12 years. He beat out former Congressman Beto O'Rourke in his last election. It was a close race, though. Do you think there's a possibility of this seat turning blue? It's going to be another very close race. Ted Cruz is Ted Cruz, and because of that, he's always going to attract strong challengers and a lot of people to come out to vote for him and against him. It's going to be turnout and how much that top of the ticket can affect the lower races. If Harris starts surging in Texas, then the seat is going to be a lot more competitive. The way it stands now, Cruz has about a 4% lead in the polls, which is not insurmountable. It's within the margin of error. It's all going to be about who comes out to vote. 
And early voting has begun in some states, including Georgia, 300,000 early voters just yesterday. And early voting here in Texas begins on Monday. What do you think voter turnout is going to look like here in Texas? I think voter turnout's going to be uh, high for Texas standards, but unfortunately, Texas is one of the lowest voting turnout states. And I think what's going to motivate people out to vote is hearing what's happening in Georgia and just how important this election is going to be. It's going to have a lot of big issues and it's going to shape, especially for president, the next four years. Yeah, maybe make it a battle between Texas versus Georgia. See how many voters <laughs> we can get out there. Dr. Brian Smith, political science professor at St. Edwards University. Thank you so much for waking up early and being with us. Uh, thank you.